Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and hi if you are new, I am so happy to have you here today. We are getting it all done. I am giving you tons of cooking and cleaning motivation as I was getting the house ready for some guests that were staying for the holiday weekend. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you hit the like button if you do and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's jump right into cleaning. I had so much cleaning to do on this day. There is so much stuff that I even left out of this video because I had so much to do, but we are starting by stripping the bed sheets. I always try to do this at the start of cleaning. That way the laundry is done by the time I am done cleaning. And truly, this is an all day cleaning video and it took two days to get ready for guests to come and stay with me. I was so excited to have people come and stay in my guest room now that it is done. And I have not shared with you guys what the guest room or the studio look like in my house. And if you are new to my channel, I have tons of home renovation videos up on my channel, so definitely make sure you go and check those out if you love room makeovers and things like that. I'm just putting the chairs up so the robot vacuum can clean the floors while I move on to cleaning the bathroom. And this is the main bathroom in my house and so I use it and then anytime someone else comes over they use it so I definitely needed to make sure that it was clean and ready to go for people to come over. While you guys are watching today, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what y'all did for the 4th of July weekend. We just kind of hung out around here, had our friends over, made really good food, and had great conversations, played some games and stuff like that. It's really nice to kind of get back into socializing and seeing people here and there. So let me know what y'all did down below. I pretty much never film myself cleaning my bathtub because I just can never find good angles to do it, but I am sharing it with you today. So you are in for a treat. And I am using this scrub mommy here to clean the bathtub. I had not used a scrub daddy or scrub mommy before on my bathtub and it actually works really well. I love that the scrub mommy is dual sided. So you have a more abrasive surface on one side and then a softer surface on another. And again, since we were having people over, I wanted to make sure that the shower was clean since other people were going to be using it. Everything just turns around. I get stunned by your drum. I follow you into the sun. Shoot a race like a shotgun. You gotta be my someone. All right, friends, the first recipe that I'm sharing with you in today's video is actually not my recipe. It's Jack's recipe, so he's gonna be making probably the majority of this potato salad, but you just wanna start out by boiling your potatoes, and I had never done this before, but he suggested boiling the potatoes with the skin on and then peeling the skin afterwards, and oh my goodness, you guys, I was so impressed as to how quickly the skin came right off the potatoes. I hate peeling potatoes with a potato peeler, and I felt like it made it so much easier to see all the bad spots in the potato so you're just gonna boil those and then peel them and then he likes to add several different things to the potato salad we added boiled eggs but I left that part out in case you are not a fan of eggs in your potato salad it's kind of like a mixture of egg and potato salad in my opinion so he added some celery and some onion to that and then you definitely want to season your potatoes with like salt or pepper or something like that um, we don't love overly salty foods but you can season it kind of however you like 
And then we went ahead and added like a little bit of spice to it. I think he added paprika here. And then you're gonna wanna add some mayo, some vinegar, and some mustard. And you can do all of this to taste, which is kind of what we did. So we just added a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and then we use light mayo, and then just some regular yellow mustard. But you could get totally creative and sauce this however you would like. And we made, as you can see, a huge batch of potato salad. We, since we did have people that were coming over, and then Jack loves this potato salad, so we have been eating it all week. When you come, when you come, everything just turns around. I get stunned by your drum. I follow you into the sun. Shoot a race like a shotgun. You gotta be my someone. After he was done making the potato salad, I needed to give the kitchen a good clean, so we took out the trash, and then I got started cleaning up all of the dishes, and I did clean my sink, but I feel like I include that in my videos so much that I decided to leave it out, but I'm just loading up the dishwasher with the things that I can throw in there, washing all of the pots and pans and things by hand, and then we are gonna move on to some other cleaning. turning over the laundry and then I'm going to throw in a load of towels that way I had plenty of clean towels and everything for my guests that were coming and watching this back I realized that I also threw a pair of pants you'll see me go back out and Jack handed me his shorts because he was outside doing the lawn mowing and weed whacking and stuff and my yard gets so dirty gross grassy muddy that you have to take all of your clothes off and put them immediately into the washing machine because you get so dirty and I was really trying to avoid grass and stuff being tracked into the house and these baskets that I'm cleaning out here are where I throw a lot of my laundry in the laundry room before I wash them that way I can have several loads ready to go and these get tons of lint in them and dirt and things also the shoe rack I keep my outdoor shoes and Jack keeps his outdoor shoes on this shoe rack because they get so muddy from doing yard work and stuff like that that I need to keep all the dirt contained. So those things needed a good wipe down and so did the trash can. These are just some things that I don't do every single day but definitely wanted to do before guests came over. I'm just going to give the laundry room a quick vacuum. Like I said, all of the yard work grass and dirt and stuff gets tracked in here. And I know that that's the purpose of a mudroom is to have space for all of those things to put your dirty shoes and dirty clothes and stuff. But honestly, especially after a day outside, I get so much dirt in here. I just have to try to keep it clean. So I'm just using this attachment on my vacuum to get up all of the dry stuff. And then that way it is all ready to mop later. And then I'm going to move on to the living room. And usually I have remotes to put away, controllers to put away, blankets to put away. You guys know how it is. I'm sure those of you who are moms also have a living room full of toys. I will say that is one thing that I am glad right now that I do not have to put away and clean up. But I'm just going to tidy the space up a little bit and then I'm going to vacuum the carpet and use the attachment to kind of get around the floor and everything, make the space nice and clean. Oh, I wasted my 
sometimes use the attachment here on the cushions and stuff just in case any crumbs or hair or little bits of whatever have gotten between the cushions and then I also bring in any of my floor mats from around the house after I shake them I usually go over them with the vacuum cleaner and they are so much easier to vacuum on a carpeted surface than it is to vacuum them on the floor and now my sheets are all clean so I am going to get started on remaking the bed and I've said it before but this is definitely by far my least favorite chore in the world to do but I just recently got these sheets from, I think, Home Goods, and they are so much easier to put on. I just love the deep pockets, and you can probably see them on the corner. They make it really, really easy to like tuck it and everything like that. So I really appreciate how easy it is to make this bed now. Switch, I know we're acting stupid. Alright, now that the bed is made, we are going to move on to the last recipe I am sharing with you guys, and it is the most delicious fruitcake ever. <laughs> so you can use whatever kind of fruit that you like in a fruitcake, but since this was around the 4th of July, I decided to use blueberries and strawberries, so I am just throwing them in my colander and giving them a good rinse. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the strawberries so that way they are in smaller slices for the cake. And I have watched so many people cut strawberries, and it genuinely bothers me sometimes how much people waste with fruit. Like they just don't seem to know how to cut fruit correctly. So if you are unsure of how to cut strawberries, then I find that this way by just rotating your paring knife around the top makes it so much less waste than just cutting the top off. I just don't like wasting food, but that's just a quick little tip if you are unsure of how to cut strawberries. I decided to go for two layers to this cake. You could always do more, you could always do one, totally up to you, but I am just greasing the pan here with some Crisco and then I'm going to put some flour in it to grease and flour it and these are eight inch round pans. I have also seen this same type of cake recipe done with nine inch. I've seen it done with square pans or sheet pans. It really just depends. You can make this with any kind of cake. This is just a plain vanilla shortcake recipe that I am using and this was not really a full recipe. I'm kind of one of those people that just likes to do my own thing so I found the vanilla cake recipe and then just decided to make my own whipped cream and add my own kind of fruit but I love using my KitchenAid mixer it just really makes baking 10 times easier I have not ever had a mixer like this in my life until recently and it has just made baking so much more enjoyable but I'm just adding butter and sugar into the mixer and then all your dry ingredients go into a separate bowl you're gonna do flour and baking powder and salt and stuff like that in a separate bowl. And I will leave the recipe down below so you guys don't have to memorize any of these measurements. And then in a third bowl, you're gonna wanna add your milk and your eggs and your vanilla because you want to alternate the wet and dry ingredients to make your cake. This is where the magic happens. This is my butter and sugar getting creamed all nicely in the mixer. It goes by so much faster. <laughs> it's so nice and I love this paddle attachment because it actually has a spatula on it which makes 
the amount of times that I have to scrape the bowl considerably less. I've only, I think, only had to do it twice, I think, in this recipe. So definitely super fast. And then once you've creamed your butter and sugar, you're gonna want to add the rest of your ingredients. You wanna alternate your dry ingredients and your wet ingredients. So do like a little bit of the dry, a little bit of the wet, and then keep going back and forth until all of the cake is mixed. I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me. This is probably the hardest part of baking for me and that is pouring it into the pans because the bowl is heavy, I am not very tall, and so it took a little bit of finessing, but I gotta figure it out. So you wanna make sure that you divide it evenly between your pans, however many you're making, whatever size you are using. And then I always make sure to tap the air bubbles out before I pop them into the oven. And I believe that these baked at 350 for somewhere around 30 minutes, but don't quote me again. I will leave the recipe down below so you guys can try it out yourself. Right, so it is the next day and I did get a few clips because this was right before our friends arrived and the last couple of things that I needed to do was vacuuming upstairs so this is my bedroom I'm just vacuuming out the little pot that holds my ficus tree and then giving the carpets a good vacuum and I honestly love this vacuum it does so amazingly well on carpets but after I do this area I'm gonna move into my office and vacuum those carpets as well Nothing like clean floors, am I right? <laughs> I just feel like having clean floors is the best thing ever. Even if the rest of my house is a mess, as long as the floor isn't sticky, I'm totally fine. So I'm just gonna give my floors a super fast mop, and this mop makes it so easy to do that. I know I have raved about this mop in several of my videos before, but this is the Oceder Spin Mop. I will have it linked below so you guys can check it out, but it makes it so easy to mop because you can just rinse it out really easily. You can throw the head into the washing machine when you're done. It doesn't leave a lot of water on the floor, so it does not take a super long time to dry after you've mopped. It's just super quick setup, super quick cleanup, and it does a really great job. I also had to include a picture of the cake when it was totally finished, so I just made my own homemade whipped cream and layered it between the two layers of cake, put some of those blueberries and strawberries on top, and boom, it was really that easy. But that's gonna be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure that you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so before you leave, and I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video. Bye guys.